I started working at the company in 1949, they were making a large amount of boot shoes and kind of getting away from boots. Well, there's not a lot of competition in boot and shoemaking because of all the Eastern companies that uh, already had their uh, foot into the door as far as making shoes. So when Mr. Justin came in to try to run the company, he found out that they were making shoes for $5.25. They're selling them for $4 or something. That's not very profitable. So one Saturday morning he came in and asked some of the other workers to come in as well. During the night he had put ribbons on all the machines that he wanted to pull out of the factory. Anything that had anything to do with making a shoe, he had pulled out of the factory. His dad came in and said, what's going on here? He says, Dad, you want me to run the company. You want it to be profitable, and we can't do it making shoes. We're going back to boots. So they did, and uh, Mr. Judson brought in new leathers, new designs, and uh, they just seemed to blossom overnight. When I first came to work here, we were making 200 and something pairs of boots per day. Now we make two and three thousand pairs of boots a day. So, uh, as you can see, it did, did blossom out to a good company. One of the most famous things that we did in 1954 is when it actually started, Mr. Justin went out in the field and asked what he could do or make that would help the business. And he was well established in the uh, rodeo field by then, knew a lot of the riders and everything. So he asked them, they said, well, we need, we have to wear boots when we're in the arena. We have to wear a cowboy hat when we're in the arena. They'd gotten to wear baseball caps and, and sneakers, stuff like that was okay. But they made this new ruling, so they needed a comfortable boot, the ropers did, where they could jump off their horse, get down, tie their calves, and get back on their horse. So Mr. Justin said, well, we'll work on that. And uh, he had all his men get together. They pulled out last that they had used actually on shoes. And because they were flat, like they needed to be, uh, he pulled those last out, got patterns together. We worked probably four or five months just getting the patterns exactly right and uh, started producing them. There was never any advertising on ropers. They just hit the market and we could not make them fast enough. They just did their own advertising, word to mouth, and uh, they've always been exceptionally well accepted ever since.